Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nikki. So I'm basically going to be doing a get ready with me. Um, slash I'm going to show you how, how I did my... Uh, I can't even fucking talk. I'm going to show you guys how I did my ponytail. My big afro ponytail that everybody's been asking me to do a tutorial on. So yeah, it's just gonna really basic and easy. I'm also going to throw in a bit of makeup in there. I'm not really good at makeup. I'm not a makeup artist. So please don't laugh at me, don't judge me, I'm trying, I'm a newbie. So yeah, um, I'm just going to do my makeup for it be a fun thing to do. And I just want to talk to you guys so you guys can really get to know me a little bit more. And yeah, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't, don't. Please just don't leave me in comments. <laughs> so yeah, um... Just want to tell you guys that I've already done my eyebrows. Please don't judge my eyebrows. They're going through a little like phase at the moment. They're not even sisters. They're not cousins. They're enemies. So yeah, I'm just going through something at the moment with them. I went to a new eyebrow lady and she fucked up my eyebrows. I should have listened to my mom when she says like you know don't trust other people to do your eyebrows, but. I did anyways and <laughs> yeah um, guys if I sound a bit um, funny like nasally I'm actually got a cold so if I sound like I can't breathe I probably can't so you know hell I'm joking but yeah um, yeah I'm just for a cold but I thought I just want to do a video I'm bored at home I'm sick so I thought why not bring out a video for you guys before I just disappear off YouTube for like a month or something but yeah, um, anyway guys, sorry for the lack of videos, but um, I'm trying to put out as many videos as I can, um, but obviously I'm, it's not a lot to you guys, but I'm, I try to put out a video at least once a week, but sometimes, you know, life gets in the way, like right now I'm sick, but you know what, I don't care, I'm just going to do this. So, so first of all, um, just so you guys can know a little bit about my um, makeup routine it's really like simple I don't really do much unless I'm like actually going somewhere okay so first of all let me just put my hair away because um, it's getting a bit hot in here so yeah I'm gonna look a bit funny but don't judge me <laughs> try and make it look a bit decent so you guys don't hate me <laughs> so yeah I'm just 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 ignore it but yeah so first of all um, I actually don't use foundation on my face um, I don't know why it just makes my feel, my skin feel a bit funny I, I feel like I've got too much makeup on my face maybe I just haven't found the right foundation but back like in the past when I used foundation it was MAC foundation NC45 the one that the MAC girls just give every black girl I put NC45 on my face I was using it for like a good like two years and I felt like it made my skin go grayish like my skin tone like after I would take the makeup off my face my skin tone would be a bit gray and dusty looking so I just stopped doing that and my skin's been fine ever since so right now all I do is put concealer under my eyes I put in like a darker shade like to contour my cheekbones on yeah my cheekbones and whatever so I don't know how that turns out, but I try in it. I try. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Girl, uh, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the colour Fawn. And I'm just going to go under my eyes with that. So, yeah, I'll just squeeze some of that out. If you will let me. If you think that I'm just coming a bit too close to the camera, it's actually because I can't see. So, sometimes I'll be looking everywhere, but, yeah, I need my glasses, but just don't want to look a bit too crazy so yeah let me just oh yeah girl get them tribal marks so I just do that yeah man 
if you want to skip to the hair routine part you can i'll just put like a little timer thingy over here so you can just skip to that if you don't want to see all of this don't want to see me ramble and all that but yeah so how are you guys i know most of um you guys are actually from america because i looked at my stats and it said that 90% of you guys are American. So, hey guys, hey y'all, uh, and all that. Um, also, my UK people, hey, how you doing? That was just like a little hello to you guys, because I know you guys are out there, or well, whoever's watching this. Thank you for the 8,000 subscribers that you have given me. Like, honestly... I didn't think that much people would subscribe to my channel, but thank you. Like, I started this five months ago, and I didn't think I'd get this far already. It might not be a lot to some people, but to me, that is a big achievement. In only like five months, I've gained 8,000 subscribers, so yeah, thank you guys. You didn't have to subscribe to my channel, but you chose to anyways. There's other people that are better than me on youtube so thank you very much for that i oh, so disgusted but yeah i'm just gonna i'm not really good at blending or all that so if i look a bit crazy i'm sorry i'm sorry guys <laughs> but yeah thank you um i remember i started this like yeah five months ago in the summertime of last year i remember exactly and i started off by basically doing blogging online like actually written blogs yeah that got that was okay for a while I did that just basically to get out of my comfort zone so I can basically have the courage to finally do YouTube and yeah then I transitioned into YouTube I've actually got my natural hair journey on there but I will make a video on my natural hair journey because I know everybody wants to I know some people want to see like what my natural hair journey was like because you guys are really fascinated by that because I grew my hair within two years all of it within two years so yeah I've been natural for two years but I grew up my um, relaxer for I think it was like five months I had a pixie cut so my hair was like literally all the way low it was like low so yeah i know you guys want to see that and i'll have more hair videos don't worry i just like to switch it up on my channel sometimes so that um i'm not repetitive or like you guys don't get bored of me and also i want to just be putting out different content as well so yeah i'm just gonna blow my nose so yeah so i would just want to know like what kind of videos you guys want to see from me what kind of like um challenges because i do want to start doing challenges on my channel because i think they're like so fun to watch when i watch other people do them i think they're so cool like yeah i might sound a bit dumb but yeah i think they're so cool so i want to try and do some challenges with like my friends and stuff when you guys to get to know me Makeup's looking kind of shit, but yeah, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Did you see that? They not in there. <laughs> I've basically just contoured and highlighted my face with all my cream, um, cream concealers, and I'm just gonna set them with my powders right now, and I'm going in with my sleek um, contour palette. Okay, I can't get that copyright, but you know. I'm just gonna set my uh, 
Now I'm just gonna set my highlight with the Ben Nye um, banana powder thingy, my jiggy. I've had this for so long and it's lasted me for a long time. When I got this, yeah, you guys are not gonna believe this, but when I got this, this was six pounds. And um, I got this off some website where they have like all of this type of makeup. I can't even remember what it's called. And when I got this, it was six pounds. When it started like getting hyped up, I see the price of this go up. Like, when people ask me how much you get that for, I got I was like six pounds, and then they'd be like, "Well, I paid like what thirty pounds for it." I was like, hey. So yeah, I just wanted to share that. But yeah, it's, it was six pounds. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of that. Let's pour it onto the lid. I don't really like using this powder because I feel like it makes me a bit ashy if I bake. So I don't really like to bake that much. But if you like to bake, girl, bake. So, yeah, just put that much in there. So if you guys know, like, a powder, like a like a setting powder or whatever, that is, like, good for my skin tone, please leave a suggestion down below. Also leave a suggestion down below if, like, you know how to put, like, eyelashes on. I want to know how to do all of that stuff. So, girl, just teach me and I'll teach you in it. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so I'm back and unfortunately my camera died. So, yeah, we're just going to keep rolling with this. I already did my eyeliner, which looks like shit. And I did my eyeshadow or whatever the fuck you want to call this right now. And I'm going to go in with my lip. Go in and align my lips with this pencil I just got at the beauty supply store. And a lot of people ask me what do I have on my lips. Literally I just put this on and rub my lips together and it just makes a colour. So yeah. So I literally just do this. And then I'll go in with my like lip balm or something. So I'm just gonna go in with this. It's the NYX Cookies and Cream thingy bit, my, my bob. So I'm just gonna go in with the light one and just like make my lips stand stand out a little bit. So I'll just put that on in the middle. That's what my lips look like. If you guys were wondering. This is what I've been doing to my lips for quite some time now, and I just like the way they look. Uh, look at that glow. <laughs> Woo! Look at that glow. Oh my god. Bitch, you really thought she was doing something. So now we're just gonna get on with the hair tutorial, the one that everybody's been waiting for. So with this um, style, what you wanna start off with is like stretched hair. You can start off with a wash and go. You can start off with blown out hair like I do. Um, it's really simple and easy and yeah, it's that like really not much to it, but just make sure if you want your hair like big like this, just blow it out and make sure you use a heat protector. The heat protector I use is from Tresemme. It's the red one, red and black. So try and use that. I'll put a picture of what it looks like. And yeah, I can't find my soft brush, the soft bristle brush, the wooden one. So I'm just going to have to use this. And... The gel I'm going to go in with is the Curls Blueberry Bliss Curls Control Paste. This is a good one. I'm not going to use a lot of this because I don't want my hair to revert. Because then it would be pointless of me blow drying my hair. So we're just going to go in with that, that. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this, I don't know, scalp ointment thing from UB Natural. And I'm just going to just like use it to rub my hair a little bit because it's a bit dry if you've got relaxed hair try doing like a bantu knots bantu knots i think that's what they're called yeah do bantu knots on your hair like the night before and then comb out your hair so it'd be bushy because that's what i used to do when i was relaxed so i can have an afro so girl if you want that like big bushy like i feel like this is kind of a look i see on the runway a lot they do like bantu knots and they'll pick it out. So if you got hair like that, try and do that. And 
yeah if you've got t um, tech stacks hair I would suggest you do like a twist like say if you have like natural hair like up to here and the rest is relaxed I would suggest you twist it and then put perm rods on the end so it can be curly and then pick it out and then it'll be like this huge throw that's what I used to do so yeah if you've got shorter hair you can still do it it's basically I'm gonna let you guys in a little bit of a secret when I was like mm, I think it was a year or like six months natural my hair was not big but people will think my hair is huge so what I would do is basically instead of tightening my ponytail all the way like really really tight and then it'll look small I'll just put it up to like a certain level like this and then my hair would look huge so try that out and tell me how that works for you so if you don't want to blow out your hair there's other techniques like oh what is it African threading and that would be like when you wash your hair at night or two nights ago or whatever you just put the string around your hair and then it'll just you know I don't know the technique but you know you can search it in YouTube and it should come up so let's just get started okay so I'm gonna first off like do like a part and where's my eyebrow? my eyebrows here and yeah I don't have nothing with me like all my combs are somewhere else so I'm just gonna try and do it bear with me guys I'm just trying to sweat out my parting you could do your parting wherever you want you could do it in the middle side whatever it doesn't matter so yeah this is my parting this is what I'm gonna go with do you like that yes I like that so I'm just gonna put some ointment you can put like hair grease or whatever I know it's not good for you but I feel like when you have your hair in like this sort of state it's okay because you don't really want to be putting like the hair creams that like you know like Shea Moisture um, something something like Cohen Hartson smoothie you don't want to put that on your hair when it's in like this state so because if you do that your hair could revert and that's not what you want you want big voluminous like runway like style hair so yeah yeah now I'm gonna go in with my gel I'm not gonna go in with a lot I want this to be a really like natural effortless kind of look yeah just put that like that the rest of it yep just gonna go in with that gel obviously if your hair's in a wash and go state you can put as much gel as you want but right now me personally this is the look I'm going for ouch I love it when everyone's like, oh, I feel sorry for you because your hair, you've got so much hair. Honestly, guys, big, thick hair is not for everyone. Trust me. If you can't handle it, I would suggest you just keep it at a length that you're comfortable with. Don't force yourself to have something that you really can't have. Like this hair... I feel like screaming sometimes with it, it just gets on my nerves. But obviously, if you want it, you can have it. Ah, my hair's so thick. Ah. Guys, my camera just keeps dying on me, but you want your hair to look something like this. Like, do you see that? Yeah, okay. So, once it's like that, I'm just gonna. I don't, I don't use hair bands because they break and my hair's too thick for that. Ooh. So I just go in with this and then oh, look, my hair's just going all over the place. I just spent time on you. Okay, so I put my hair like up to there, like that, and that's there. And then what I'm going to do is tighten it. I'm going to pull this. I'm not going to make it go all the way like a proper ponytail. I'm just going to tie it. I'm going to get a hairband and tie that. 
Okay, so now that I've got my hair band, I'm just going to tie that onto this at the back. Okay, so now that that is in place, what I want to do right now is basically make sure that everything is just how I want it to look. I'm just going to keep smoothing and all of that stuff. So now what I want to do is push this back down a little bit. I'm just going to pick it. I love this style. This is like my favorite hairstyle ever. And yeah, I always have like, I always struggle with like this part because it's always like in a weird parting thing. You my puppy. So, yes. Oh, yeah, I love this. Okay, so now we're going to go in with some bobby pins. I wish I had, like, you know those gold bobby pins that I think Solange or I think it was Rihanna, she used that on her hair. If I had that, it would be a cool style to like, put that, the bobby pins like a crisscrossy way. But I'll take a picture of that one day and I'll show you guys if, how it turns out. But I'm just going to put that there so my hair... This looks a bit more neater. So I'm gonna go in with one bobby pin. I'm gonna go in with another one. And another one. Like guys, this hairstyle requires a lot of bobby pins. If you wanna do your edges or whatever, you can do that girl. But I don't want my head to revert. So I'm not going to do that today, even though I love doing my edges. I think I will do my sideburns though. So I'm just going to go in like this is my sideburn. Some people might say they're not sideburns, but I don't care. I call them sideburns. And I'm just going to get some of that and I'm going to put it to here, like there. And just like... Make him. This is not for everyone. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. But I love this hairstyle. What do you think? Super cool. So old school, runway type stuff. You just pick this. Trust me, this hairstyle is not for the faint hearted. If you go outside and you're walking across the street and you see people staring at you, girl. They're not staring because they think your hair looks like shit. They're staring because they're like, whoa, is that her real hair? Is that a wig? Is that a weave? And you're just going to be like, it's mine. <laughs> well, let me see. If you want to use a ponytail, you can use a ponytail or whatever. But it's so much better when it's your own. I used to be like so, uh, let me tell you guys a little story, I used to be so scared to go outside with my hair big, um, only because I felt like everybody was staring at me, I couldn't go to like shops or anything because people would be staring at me, sometimes there would be people who would be giving me my like looks like oh like what is she doing, like why is her hair like that or stuff or, and all that type of stuff and honestly you just got to ignore it like um some people do like your hair, some people don't. So, yeah, just ignore it. Knowing that you're fabulous, you're beautiful the way you are, your hair is lovely. Like, I used to be so insecure about my hair. People would say, like, really, like, horrible things about my hair, but I've learned to love it. And, yeah, um, now people love my hair because it's longer. And I just think you didn't like me when I had my short hair, so you don't deserve me now, okay? That's basically how I feel. And yeah, just remember to love your hair, love yourself, no matter if your hair's straight, curly, whatever, afro, just love it. I love wearing my hair like this. I don't see a lot of UK bloggers like who have like my type of texture getting noticed, but um, you know, times are changing. People are noticing us. So, yeah, 
I just hope you like my hairstyle. Make sure you to, uh, make sure you're confident in your hair. Wear it big, wear it proud, and yeah. If you guys like videos like this, let me know down in the description below, and I will make more videos like that. So just be prepared and I love you guys so much thank you for the 8,000 subscribers thank you for subscribing liking my videos sharing my videos following me on Instagram thank you so much from the bottom of my heart I was just sounding a bit cheesy but yeah I really like um, appreciate your support and thank you thank you thank you and if you like the video you know what to do and yeah bye guys